Okay, I'm going to do a complete out-of-the-box test to see if I can choose a different door. This is the residential template that comes with X15. I'm going to go over here and pick a straight exterior wall, and I'm going to go see what type of wall it is. Siding 6, excellent. Okay. Um, I don't normally like the grids on, but whatever. Let's uh, make a little building. There's a default door. I don't want to use that. It still doesn't give me options. I want to have glass panel, but I only want to have the glass in the upper third of the door, upper half of the door maybe. And when I go to library, the old way used to let me, um, it, would, it would default to, it would say architectural, I believe. And underneath it, it was doors. And then you could just go through all the different type of doors and pick the one you want. This new way is picking doors I don't want. Like, why would it give me a garage door when I'm trying to select from the library for entry doors? So, and then we had this where, let's see, I'll go way down here. All of a sudden they become, I'm going to do a login. I'm going to see what happens. I don't even remember my login. Let's pick this door. Okay. Email address. Hmm. What is my login? I don't remember. I'm going to hit pause and try to figure this out. So I had to uh, go to one password, find my password, and then it says, hey, guess what? I did my email and my uh, password, and it says I've successfully logged in. So here's a question. When I first start Chief Architect, it's on my computer, which I have already logged into. It reaches out to the Internet to make sure that it's authorized because I can make it available for other computers by going to Chief's website, logging in, and telling it to make available. So why am I logging in here when I want to pick a door out of the library? Uh, no, I don't want that catalog. What I want is the default doors. So what happened is I came way down here. See all these doors? Every one of these is online. And I'm sure now that I've logged in, I can pick one and just go with it. But what if I'm working without internet access? Then what? Do I have to download all these? I thought I already did that. I've been to the website. I've downloaded thousands where's that one it was like p07 or something this one that's kind of close i want this one sure yeah whatever weird man so is this the new way that it works? Huh. So weird. Why the change? Why do I have to log in again? Are you guys getting hit with pirates and stuff? Stealing your software? That's pretty weird. I mean, I understand, but, but at least tell everybody. All right. Uh, stopping recording now.